Hi guys, today we're doing one of the most highly requested videos that you guys have asked for. And that is to make the perfect sewing apron. Let's get started. We are going to use this pattern here as it is completely customizable to our needs. We've got three different options for our aprons and we're just going to pick and choose from the pocket patterns available to figure out what suits um, our needs best. One of the first things I like to do is go ahead and draw. Yes, is go ahead and draw out what I'm wanting on a whiteboard, preferably. That way we can erase and change things. Um, but here are my pocket examples that I like for my own apron. And I'll go ahead and show you on here what all these pockets are for. For this project, we're gonna need some durable fabric to help keep up with the wear and tear of our sewing lifestyle. I recommend a cotton canvas or duck cloth uh, material that's about 11 and a half ounces, I think this one is, or maybe 12, 15, nothing too thick. And then from there, we're gonna need some grommets. And remember, this is all customizable, so really up to you with color choice. I've got gold, bronze, silver, and this gun metal. Since this is for Shay, she has recommended I use the gun metal. Next, we're going to need our thread. And my personal choice is to match the thread color to the hardware. So we're gonna choose this gun metal looking thicker thread. And another thing to note, we're going to need thick thread for this thicker material as it will look better and hold up better um, after we wash it and all of that. So here we've got our pattern laid out. I went ahead and actually pre-cut all of my materials because all of this is customizable again. So whatever you need lengthwise, shape-wise, you're going to know by really just holding this up to yourself and seeing what looks right to you. As you can see here, this is the pattern we're using as reference to make our own apron. Our original apron here is short because as we sew, when we sit, it, we don't like it to crease right here. So what we do with the pattern is actually just fold it here and here to get that shape. So I've got my main body laid out and then these are the pattern pieces I chose just because I like the shape of this. I like this over the rounded edge you see on a lot of pockets. And so I used those three cutouts as they're just my personal favorite. And then here, I went ahead again and pre-cut and actually ironed out the pockets because you wanna remember these are going to, these pocket shapes are going to get smaller as we press them. So I just wanna make sure the size looks right to me before I get started on sewing. I'm gonna start with the top pocket as it is the most important in my opinion. So I'm just gonna chalk out the lines I'm actually going to sew onto it. So I wanna have those two pockets here because I like to put my scissors on one side and then if I have any marking tools on the other, that way they're the most easily accessible. Now I'm gonna place my lower pocket about a few inches below this because this will sit at our waistline. So I want this to sit around my lower stomach. And then I went ahead and off-centered this line for our pocket because I want to be able to fit my rotary cutter in on this side for easy access once I want to cut something. And then on this side, we are going to use it for my measuring tape. And then we're actually going to add a secondary pocket on top. So I'm just going to move that away for now. And as you can see, I accidentally overshot that line. I want it to sit right there. So we'll just recut that. Give us a half inch seam allowance there. That way we'll be able to sew right on top of the line together. So it'll look nice. And for this pocket, 
I'll use it for my pins that are not for fabric. That's very important. I want to keep my marking pins separate from my paper pins. And then finally, I'm actually going to add a pocket on this lower side part about right here. It is going to be a very short pocket, but I want it to actually fit my phone because I want to be able to bring it everywhere I want. But if you don't want to use your phone, honestly, you can use it for maybe a little notepad or something. Just something to keep your thoughts clear and out of the way from this bulky area. The first thing we need to do before we even pin our pockets down and sew them is actually to go ahead and sew those pocket Whoa! openings. As you can see, I went ahead and sewed this smaller pocket on top of the larger pocket. That way, the size of my underneath pocket is not compromised by that shape. But I did leave that open because I just want one line of stitching down the center. So now what we're going to want to do is pin and chalk our placement of all the pockets. So first I'm just going to kind of chalk the outline and this will help when we're sewing that way if when we unpin the pocket we know that it's still in the right place. And remember don't do the top, oh see don't mark the top. That's going to make me think I have to sew there. Only mark where you're sewing. That'll really help. Okay. Now I'm just going to pin my corners. While we're over at the machine and sewing those pockets, we're also going to go ahead and sew our edges. So as you can see, I went ahead and surged my edge and then we're just going to flip it over and top stitch right on top all the way around this shape. Here I will do the same thing. I'm just going to fold it together with it and top stitch. That way we have one line of nice stitching. If you can't surge, I recommend either rolling it twice and sewing or you can actually get a binding and just sew on top all the way around. And again, the binding would be, you could customize the color, you could do white, a contrast, or use really whatever you'd like to hide that. But we're just gonna fold this under and top stitch. I went ahead and just pressed my half inch seam allowance all the way around the outer edge of the apron. That way it's also ready to just top stitch down. But we are actually going to start with the pockets and I'm going to start with my chalk lines. Okay, we're back over at the table and we are ready to attach our straps after we did the pockets and we finished off our edges here. So you want to pull out your grommets first and we're actually just going to place them on these outer edges here because that's where we want the webbing to slide through. So we're going to want to make a mark at where we need to cut the hole for the grommets on either side. So your grommets should come with a tool kit. This part here actually will cut the fabric as we hammer it down and then these two tools will set the grommets in place. So first we'll take this tool and place it right on top of our dot we made and we're going to want to just give it a light tap. <laughs> it's a little bit <laughs> stronger than I thought. Um, one thing to know is if you don't have a uh, if you have a softer surface, surface, it's going to be really hard to make that cut. So we have this, um, I don't know what this is actually. I know it's a stiff, like flexible piece of, I don't know, looks like tar to me. <laughs> um, and you just set it down underneath and then we'll try that one more time. Hopefully this will work. It did not. So <laughs> my other option is we have these lovely concrete floors. I will often do this on the floor because it's very quick and easy. Um, so 
If you don't have concrete floors, honestly, go do it outside. It'll make it a lot easier, I promise. Okay, we're down at the floor and we're gonna give this another go here. And this way I can be a little stronger because if I make a hole in the floor, I probably can't, but if I did, doesn't matter. Okay. There you go, you see, beautiful cut. And if you don't get it all the way, don't worry. We just wanna make sure we got that shape. So I'll actually just trim that edge off. So now that we have this hole here, we're gonna take these grommet pieces and you're gonna place this one on top and the skinnier one on the underside. And you're just gonna wanna push that through. And then this is where it actually, you're gonna hammer on the reverse. So this thing will hold the outer one. And we'll flip that over. And so we want it to be set right on top. And then this piece will push down the rest of the grommet onto the other one so it'll hug it. So now we'll give it a few taps. And as long as it has flattened that edge around and is not sharp anymore, it's set in. So now we'll just do the same to the other side. Okay, so we just placed our grommets in and now we're ready to cut our webbing. This is gonna be used for our straps on the apron. Now, you can make this out of the same material. However, the webbing is just gonna be cheaper and a lot quicker to use. To know the uh, measurement you need for each strap, you're actually just gonna take your waist measurement and then multiply that by two. And then from there, you will cut what that equals to. For example, my waist measurement is gonna be 28, so we'd cut at 56. But since I don't know Shays, I'm gonna add a little bit of length there, just in case, and we'll just shorten it later if it's too long for her. We'll actually just attach these here, fold it over, and we'll go to the sewing machine and do a little cross box stitch that'll help keep them in place. Okay, and then we'll make a diagonal from one edge to the other. Okay, cut there, and then I'll make another diagonal. And now you see that'll be really sturdy and should hold on for a long time. So we'll do the same to the other side. So for the most comfort and support on your apron, you're actually gonna wanna cross these and then you're just going to thread this edge through there. And you see it'll adjust to your size. That's why we like it to slide through those grommets. And same thing on this side. And then what we can do to secure these ends is just tack them down at the edge there. That way it'll be a little bit thick so it can't easily pass through that edge. So after we tack that part down, we're done. Here it is, here is Shay's apron. Unfortunately, she's not here right now to try it on for me, but I think I'm a pretty good model. 
I love how it turned out. We have the two pockets up here. I've got my phone pocket and I've got two pockets here for my scissors, pens, and tape measure, anything I could want. That's all I have for you today. Remember to have fun. The apron, when you make it, it's all up to your own creative liberty. And you know, like, comment, share. And you know what? Comment down below. What do you keep in your apron? <laughs>